guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Addy. So today I am here, sorry it's a bit late, with my October favourites. Whoop whoop, whoop whoop. So let's get right into it. So first up, let's start with beauty. And the first thing I have is a NYX liquid eyeliner and this is the Vivid Brights range and this is in the colour, if I can find it. Vivid Envy. So I wore this on Halloween. Uh, I'll insert a photo. I looked like the Joker. I wasn't planning to. This was just a daily attire to get me through the day. And uh, I'm in love with it. I got it um, sometime just before Halloween. But I think it's so beautiful. It's just so pretty. It's so vividly green and everything. And it's just so great. Next up we have a mascara. And it is the... Uh, Mega Volume Miss Hippie by L'Oreal Paris. Now this is brilliant. This is a very good dupe for Perversion by Urban Decay because it just makes your lashes look amazing and as if like you have false lashes on. It's incredible and I got this um, for my birthday party on the 22nd because I <laughs> didn't have a mascara because this is what happens when you come from uni and you forget to bring things home with you. Next up is something else I needed for my party and it is the NYX pigment in uh, Peacock and this is a sort of bluey and it sort of matches, it matches my hair very well. Um, so yeah, I got this to put on top of my liquid liner for um, really prettiness. You know, just to give my eyeshadow something different. Next up is the lipstick that I'm wearing just now and it is the NYX Liquid Suede in Bro Brooklyn Thorn. God, I am wearing a lot. I have a lot of NYX products, but they are very cheap and I was in Glasgow a lot this month. Last month. October. So yeah, this is amazing. It's so brown and dark and something very different, but now I've gone off like the reds and... I'm on to the nudes now, so these are like, this is amazing. Next up, I have three Tanya Burr products. Three, three? Because I was in town and wasn't aware that Tanya Burr had come out with a new range. So I was actually looking for Zoella things, but I ended up with the Tanya Burr Cosmetics uh, Face Illuminator. It's rose gold packaging, how can I not love it? And I also got the Big Kiss lipstick, which is a stunningly nice red, good for this time of year. And also I got pink cocoa, which is more uh, everyday sort of thing. Um, but you just gotta love the packaging. Next up is a nail polish that I never thought, it's a colour I would never have picked for myself. But my roommate Millie actually got me it for my 21st for my birthday. And it's from Primark and it's PS Nail Polish in light pink. And I'm wearing it on my nails just now but you can't really see because I've it's overtaken by the blue dye in my hair. But um, yeah, I love it to pieces and it's just such a lovely colour. And finally for beauty, I have three Kiko eyeshadows. The first one is in the colour 27. It's a green. It's beautiful. I help, It helped me with the Joker makeup for Halloween and uh, I love it. It's only 2 50 And the next two is 12 and 03 and the two of these together are a brilliant dupe for Isode. I-S-O-D-E by NARS, the duo. This is so good. Now on to clothing and miscellaneous. So first up is these shoes. I wore them for my birthday. I got them specially for my birthday. They are from Primark and they are just kind of high heels but they have a sort of kind of 50s classic look to them. Next up we have, you can't really see it but I'm going to do close up shots and photos of Gabby's Primark range that I have. I have her bedding, I have her eye mask, I also have one of her pencils, pen things and I have her throw. Um, I'm going to get her cushion and everything else but currently all I have is her duvet and her what I'd said she has. It's brilliant, I love it, it's so comfy, so cosy, everything I just wish I had and oh so proud of her. Next up also miscellaneous is my birthday party. So oh, I turned 21 on the 23rd of October and I had a big party in the Corinthian in Glasgow. If any of you are from Glasgow and you know the Corinthian, the big party there and it was brilliant. But a special guest came to the party who's actually a birthday present. Let me just get him. I swear to God, I did not really he realize he was this tall in real life, folks. But it's been a cover batch, everybody. Yes, I actually do 
have a roughly six foot <laughs> I do have a six foot life size bed at Cumberbatch in my room at uni. He is now the house mascot and yeah I, that is actually something that watches me sleep at night. It was a great party and thank you to everyone who came to our party, it was brilliant. And finally for clothing miscellaneous is these little creatures! So I have some pop vinyls that I got. I have had Sherlock for a while but my roommate Becca got me the limited edition Moriarty. Oh honey you should see me in a crown. That was not Irish but you know, yeah, I appreciate the sentiment guys. But yeah, I have Moriarty. I also have Harley Quinn, Arkham Asylum version I think. I think she might be Arkham. No, I think she's just original. I have Harley from my birth mum Jan. Also from birth mum Jan I have Captain Jack Harkness. Officially I now have Captain Jack and he actually sits on my shelf very near to the picture of me and Gareth David Lloyd to please you until Jones and Torchwood. So Jan was back together officially in my room. And finally what Becca also got me was, I'm going to take him out his packaging. I keep him in his packaging but I'm taking him out just for this special occasion of a video. It is a mini Voldemort! Like, can we just talk about the fact I now have a mini Voldemort? He's adorable, because as we all know, I'm Slytherin, bitch. Okay, next on to TV shows this month, I have two. Um, technically have three, but I'm going to save the third one for next month, for November, because I've not finished binge watching it yet and I just love it and it came out in November, so therefore, yeah. But the first one is RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 2. Oh my god! I freaking loved it. It's so good. I just love RuPaul and I loved everyone that was on it. Katia Fifu Hara, like, what is up with her? Um, Alyssa. I love Alyssa. Alyssa is like my spirit child. I love Alyssa. I am Alyssa. And then Alaska. I definitely think Katia should have won or Detox. Definitely not Roxy. Roxy should have gone and Alyssa should have been in the top four. But, you know, shit happens. And the second one was one I was very apprehensive about and it's actually called Class. And it's a BBC3 Doctor Who spin off. But <laughs> it is like. Doctor Who and Torchwood mixed together, merged, because I've always seen Doctor Who as being the kid friendly version and then there's Torchwood which is the total adult version, like not even teenagers, I think you have to be 16 or older to watch Torchwood, whereas Class is in the middle for like those kind of 13 to, you know, 18 year olds, it's like that, I know I'm 21 but you know what I mean, it's like that sort of intergroup of the middle, so it's kind of like, it's got its swear words, it's got its sex scenes and stuff. Um, but then it's got the kind of Doctor Who element as well, so yeah, it's really good. Now on to movies. There's only one movie that I can talk about this month, and it is Doctor Strange. <sighs> yeah, so Doctor Strange. I'm not gonna actually, I'm just mentioning it here, because I uh, will have a Doctor Strange review out tomorrow night. So when you're watching this on Monday, tomorrow, yeah, there's gonna be a Doctor Strange review, so. Yay, so I hope you guys enjoy that. I've seen it twice this month. I saw it um, with my dad the day it came out and then I saw it on Saturday there with my little brother. And finally, on to my favourite part, music! So let's get this thing started. So the first song is Shout Out To My Ex by Little Mix. <laughs> DMC. You gotta know, you gotta know, 
by DNC and can I just say a humongous big congratulations to Kevin Jonas on his new daughter like Kevin Jonas is a dad for the second time guys like is this real life like these boys were like my childhood and now they're parents and Nick Jonas is fucking hot anyway next song is This Town by Niall Horn <laughs> is Sick of Losing Soulmates by Dodie Clark. I love Dodie so I love this song so much. If I can find it. That was Sick of Losing Soulmates by Dodie Clark. The next song is My Way by Calvin Harris. Why wait to say, at least I did it my way. Why wait to fix, but in my heart I understand. I made my move, and it was all about you. Now I feel so far removed. You were the one thing in my way, you were the one thing in my way. You were the one thing in my way. You were the one thing in my way, you were the one thing in my way. You were the one thing in my way. Way by Calvin Harris. It's from a musical I'm sort of in love with and this is called My Shot by Lin-Manuel Miranda and the cast of Hamilton. shot by Le Moon and Randa and the cast of Hamilton. I absolutely love Hamilton. So there is another song from Hamilton and it's actually the first song. This is Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton by the cast of Hamilton and my final song is It Takes Two from Hairspray by Zac Efron. <laughs> strange review and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!